what is up everybody it's oh so dope i'm back for another video um so i'm so excited for this video for a couple reasons right one first before i even say anything else if y'all hear any blowing in the background i'm gonna try to talk loud but if y'all hear any blowing in the background it's because i have a fan on because it's always super hot in my room and the air conditioning never seems to come to my room so we just gonna we just gonna ignore that so first things first I'm so excited to do this video because we just hit 500 subscribers and I told y'all I was going to name my subscribers uh, once we hit 500. So as y'all know, I'm also dope here on YouTube. I do go by Kyra Crosswire. That's my, my stage and modeling name. So that is what you'll see on my Instagram. But I do also um, go under Oso oh Dope. That's still a part of my brand. Um, so in light of that, I decided to name my subscribers um dope crew um it has a special meaning to it um i was a part of a group uh called dope crew and it was it's still for doing outstanding performances every time one of my really good friends reese shout, shout out to you reese um he was one of the people that actually started it and it was really dope i got to meet a lot of dope people and make a lot of dope connections so i feel there's no better way to honor that and to honor those bonds with those people that i met then to name my subscribers who I feel like are my family dope crew. So from now on, y'all will be dope crew. So check in in the comments or whatever. Um, it could change in the future, but for now, I feel like that's perfectly fitting. So another thing is, um, I mean, we hit 500 subscribers. Like, let's pop it up. Like, finally, we made it here. We're halfway to a thousand. Y'all know once we hit a thousand, it's gonna be even more lit. We're gonna add more and more members to the dope family. Um, but today, um, I'm coming to y'all on, I don't know if this is going to go up today because I have to work, but today I'm coming to y'all on Friday, July 10th. It is exactly two weeks until my 24th birthday, and I'm so excited. 24 on the 24th, y'all. Leo gang, if y'all are Leo, drop them lions below. Um, but today, I went shopping for the longest I've been saying I needed to re-up on all of my prestige products. If you guys don't know what prestige products are, um, I used to work at Ulta many moons ago. Um, and we would have a drugstore side where you would find your NYX, your CoverGirl, your, um, what else, Revolution, uh, L'Oreal, things of that nature that you find at like your local um, drugstore, hence drugstore um, as the name. So the other side in comparison to that would be prestige now your prestige brands are your more pricey brands um you can think of it like p for pricey prestige to help you remember um so your prestige brands are going to be your anastasia beverly hills uh your fenty it's going to be your lime crime it's going to be your um what else your morphe it's going to be your um nars that type of thing the more expensive um makeup the higher branded makeup not to say that anything is not i mean not to say that drugstore products are not good because a lot of them are and y'all know here i'm all about my people getting the bang for their buck and what you can afford and what works best for you personally now me i was using drugstore products because they are cheaper and i was trying to save some money because i'm the type of person i will spend so much money on makeup and stuff like that because i just love like doing makeup i love like certain products and like just the application and the packaging and the way that they uh, work and how well they hold or how long they stay and so I kind of got used to using prestige products when I worked at Ulta because I did have a discount. So that made it even easier to spend my entire paycheck on makeup. And now that I'm into YouTube, I really want to dive deeper even more. And then I want to, you know, reach that part of my audience or reach out to people who are into more of the higher brand makeup. Because there is a difference in my personal opinion. A lot of times there are drugstore brands that are great dupes for expensive things or they work better than some of the expensive things. Just because it's more expensive also doesn't mean that it's better uh, than something that could be a little less expensive. Sometimes. Now, in a lot of cases, it is better. 
sometimes it's not it just depends on what it is and what you get it also depends on you as a person something could be really good for your skin that's a drugstore product and something could be really bad for you and vice versa it just depends on you a lot of people don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup they want to take the cheaper route that's also fine no knock to anybody who only wants to spend twenty dollars on their makeup and no knock to somebody who wants to spend 200 because i have been both and i can be both at any time However, this is not one of those videos where it's going to be, oh, I went and I got a bunch of stuff for $20. It's not going to be any of that. This video is literally a $300 haul. So it's my birthday. My birthday's coming up. I literally needed brand new everything. I wanted to try new foundation. It was a bunch of fancy products that I wanted to try and a bunch of little small things that I had used in the past that I wanted to pick up again. So this haul was like a birthday haul this is not something that i would just normally do like on a regular basis i usually only do this one time like maybe a year or a year every year and a half because a lot of these products last me a very long time like y'all know i haven't got a new palette since last year that was my james charles palette before that i couldn't even tell you when i got a new palette because my anastasia beverly hills palettes my glow kit all that stuff i still have those palettes and i still have colors in them so those palettes last for years if you take care of them um even if you do your makeup every day they last a long time um so i'm not one of those people that splurge on makeup every month or anything like that this was a purchase for me for my birthday as a gift to myself also because i've waited and i've been patient for so long not really buying too much expensive stuff just to try and save money so i said hey my birthday is coming up in two weeks i have a photo shoot um tomorrow and i have my birthday photo shoot next weekend so i need to make sure my makeup is on point so now that I'm getting to the end and to the bottom of all of my drugstore stuff that I bought that y'all seen me using in my drugstore tutorial video, make sure y'all check that out. I'm going to link it below for y'all. Um, I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to just go ahead and splurge and buy everything I need. That way I don't have to buy anything else for a while. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into everything that I bought today. I'm going to show you guys everything. And then if I have time, I'm going to try to do a tutorial today. If I don't do it today, I'm definitely going to come back and do a tutorial with you guys um, because I am wearing pretty much everything that I bought today so I can get like a feel for it. Uh, but I'm definitely about to go through everything that I bought with you guys, um, let you guys know how much everything costs and where you can find it, etc. Um, so me personally i used to be a more of an ulta person um now i'm more of a sephora type of girl i lean more towards sephora i love both of them because they both have they both have something that the other doesn't um and i mean like product wise um but sephora is definitely my go-to and my my it's it's my holy grail especially nowadays because they carry Fenty, right? So forever I've been trying to get some Fenty, bro. Forever, and I love Rihanna so much. And when it first came out and it was all the rave, it still is the rave, but when it was like really popular and selling like this, I couldn't get any. And every time I tried to go in the store, it was sold out, online it was sold out. I'm like, okay, I'ma just wait till the buzz died down. So I would always forget, when it was time for me to get a new foundation, I would always forget. Cause it's like, you see so much stuff you like, so it's like if you don't make a list or you don't remember, what you want to buy when you get your money you completely forget about it and then you see it and you're like dang i could have got that when i had the money you know so it was one of those type of things but this time i literally got everything i wanted it's probably like one or two things that i didn't get because they didn't have it and they were out i got lucky that the sephora that i went to they actually had a like they were about to run out but they had everything that i personally needed so i'm just going to show you guys everything one second i have to do my thumbnail okay so let's start off with ulta because i got more stuff from sephora so starting off i'm sorry these are really long y'all they come like past my waist they come like behind my knees that's how long they are so first off we're gonna start with this makeup case now this was like probably my favorite thing that i bought it's a uh, caboodle i think that's what the brand is called caboodles yes caboodles um this is a makeup case y'all i thought this was 20 dollars at ulta y'all literally i was like everything else is like 50 and it was super small and i'm like i'm not paying for this like i might as well order one off amazon which i'm probably still gonna do like for a like like big like a big um suitcase or whatever 
just because I know all of my stuff can't fit in here but this is really good when I want to if I need to take my makeup case to work with me or if I'm going somewhere after work and I want to do my makeup or I need to touch up or if I'm going to spend a night somewhere or out of town this is perfect to fit everything in and it has a hard exterior so nothing can be damaged whether it's glass plastic whatever nothing will spill out or whatever everything will be nice and secure so when i seen that this was twenty dollars i was like oh i'm jumping on this because it's cute and inside you see it has these two little trays on both sides that you can put stuff in brushes whatever the case and then the inside it has it's pretty deep um and it's pretty spacious i know for a fact that i will be able to fit um everything that i need to accomplish my full face so that is another reason why i was like you know what i have to get this it's only 20 bucks i really been needing one i don't have a makeup bag i put my stuff in ziploc bags and i'm like oh my god this is so unbecoming of a youtuber um i can't be jumping on here with no ziploc bag like i need to be looking a little more professional but y'all know i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i have my stuff in a ziploc bag but it just wasn't working for me i don't want everything to be all mixed in together if something spills everything is ruined I just wanted to keep it a little more organized personally for myself. So I did get this and this one retailed for $20. So moving along, I'm probably going to begin to put stuff in here as I go. So if you hear a little bit of noise, um, don't mind me. I got this Morphe. If y'all like my nails too, my best friend does nails. I'm going to put her makeup page. I mean, bleh, I can't talk. I'm going to put her nail page on the screen so y'all can go rock with her. You can't really see them, but they look really good as y'all. I know y'all can see. Y'all don't see me doing all of this or whatever. But this is a Morphe Eye Stunners um, set. I was going to get the James Charles one for $13. But, I mean, not $13. The James Charles one with 13 brushes. But they didn't have any price thing by it. And I couldn't see... I couldn't see what brushes came in there. I don't know if it was on the box or not, but I was just like, eh, whatever, I'm gonna just grab six because I do have a bunch of other Morphe brushes right now. Um, so I was just like, I'm gonna just get these so I can have extras because it's always good to have extras of the same brush too because sometimes for looks, you need multiple of the same kind of brush to do things. And I hate when I'm doing a bold look and I can't just switch between like a bright green and like a black, you know, I can't do that. So, it comes another reason why i really liked it is because it came with this too um and it was only twenty dollars for six brushes so and these are they literally have them like uh, they literally have like single um brushes like in these little cubbies but they're like six and nine dollars so i'm like i might as well just grab this six that i can use and um do it for 20. so i got six brushes for 20 in this bag this one for sure I need for my brows um because I always need these spoolies on the end I love those these are going to be great for my eyeshadow and I definitely wanted to go ahead and get some type of pomade like type of liner so I can do my wings and stuff so this is going to help with that so next what I got was this uh morphe mattifying continuous setting mist and y'all know that i have um this limited edition uh morphe uh setting spray that i got which is so cute i think it's almost gone but it, and it, the thing is with the way these cans are made you can't even really tell how much is in there uh which that's the only thing i don't like but i really like the way that it sprays out it's not super harsh like uh spray bottles um it's really like a mist like if you ever been to six flags and go through the mister it's kind of like that so I got another one. I wanted to try this one. Um, and this one is a mattifying one. So I'm like, okay, I really need that because I have oily skin. So now I have both of these two, which I'm excited to use. I have my holy grail. Y'all know I have literally, literally I got so many of these. Like I have the minis and the big ones. Right now, this is what I have these Tarte Shape Tape concealers literally one of the best concealers I've ever used I probably will always use this um I usually did I get the right color yep medium I wear the color medium if y'all don't know already I like a bright highlight a lot of times especially when I'm going out or uh when I want to look extra snatched so I got this one I've been using this for years um it hasn't failed me so 
I got a brand new one. Um, let me show you guys, for you guys that don't know what the applicator and stuff looks like. It's like a little wand and it's so cute and this is so, it smells good. The applicator is amazing for concealer. Um, I think their foundations are like that too. I'm not sure, but I just think that that's really dope. Um, next I have this Better Than Sex Mascara. I've always wanted to try this. I've never tried it. It was all the rave a while ago. Um, so, so yeah, I'm going to be using this today too, um, because I needed a new mascara. Y'all know y'all have to replace your mascaras frequently. Okay. Don't be using the same mascara for two years. Don't do it. So another mini, they have like little cubbies at the front of um, Ulta where you can like go up and basically you can, it's like little grab bag size things. So I go up there sometimes and I wanted to get this Benefit for Professionals. I've used this before. It's supposed to reduce the look of pores and it definitely does work. I've used this before in the past. I haven't gotten any in years, but I wanted to get some again. So I just went ahead and picked up the little one just because I haven't used it in a while and I just kind of want to see how I like it again. I'm going to get into what I got from Sephora. This is my stuff that I threw in here. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is the birthday gift that I got um, from Sephora. It's a uh, milk makeup. Uh, it's like a trio. Um, like a birthday little trio they got me so it says happy birthday right there and then um they gave me this and i'm excited to try it because i wanted to try milk makeup i've seen a lot of people post about it and stuff and people really like it so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try see how i like it they gave me this hydro uh grip primer um a mini um kush mascara and a lip and cheek tint in the color work so i know you guys can't really see that but i can't wait to use it um i'm really excited that i was actually able to get my birthday gift this year because i definitely did not get it last year so next thing that i got is this um sephora micro smoothing um foundation it's like a compact uh, this is basically something that I'm going to use over my makeup once I'm done applying my foundation just to finish it basically to set my foundation um, so this one is in the color deep mahogany it's actually in the color mahogany not deep I was reading something else so I got this and I actually think I got the same amount of stuff from each one yeah I only got six things from both so I lied I think I think it was six something like that so then on to what I'm most excited about <sighs> my Fenty y'all I finally I finally got me some Fenty I'm so excited <sighs> y'all don't know I'm so excited because I uh, bro like bro y'all just don't understand so what i got from fenty or whatever i was about to get more but a lot of stuff like i said they didn't have so this is the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation in the color for the well the shade color whatever 410 so let's open it up Oh my god it's so pretty finally got some bro and this is a pump applicator which i love pumps that back and i always if y'all don't know you probably see sometimes in my background if it's not messy i keep my boxes because i have like a little setup where i like to put my bo my boxes on display so i do have a lot of boxes from a lot of my prestige brands um, just because they're really cute and I didn't really want to throw them away. So the next thing I got was the Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. So I wanted to try a couple of different primers. So I went ahead and was just like, yeah, I'm gonna grab this. 
and it was actually in my cart um my sephora cart so i pretty much went off my sephora cart to decide what i wanted to get and then from there i just started picking up stuff that i kind of wanted so this is the true matte pro filter primer very cute i love the packaging it feels kind of heavy like glass i'm pretty sure this is glass but yes i love that i love the packaging too it's so i feel like it's so rihanna so next i got the fenty beauty well duh i don't have to keep saying that the pro filter instant retouch setting powder in the shade cashew so i'm gonna show y'all what this one looks like too oh wow they give you the little sifter thingy this is so cute Like, how do I navigate this packaging with nails? That's how you do it. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love this. So, I guess this is. I don't know what this is. you see it has the Fenty Beauty and it's in the color cashew this is so cute I love it because it's like a mirror almost what well, it is so I'm just gonna put that back so happy about that one then last but not least y'all know I had to get some of the lip gloss so I got this gloss bomb and this one is in the color Fenty Glow. I wanted to get this other one, uh, Fussy. They didn't have the individual one, so I was gonna get the diamond pack, but I didn't really want the diamond pack because I'm like, I'm never gonna wear that because I don't wear like silver highlight. So I'm like, mm, nah, not really my thing. But yes, so freaking cute and it smells so good. Y'all know you got a little mirror on the side. You can use it to apply. Boom. And then there's the Fenty Beauty logo. And this one was 19. Um, so yeah. That was everything that I bought. Um, I'm really excited to use everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna link all the products. I'm gonna list all the products below that I got and where I got them from. Um, the prices are going to be listed, of course, in the in the screen somewhere. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers, Dope Crew. We moving up. Make sure y'all like, comment. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and make sure you binge watch my videos if you're new. And if you're returning, thank you so much for sticking with me on my YouTube journey. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.